I just want to make this video real quick. I might move around, maybe, if I get tired of sitting in this position or whatever. But I have to keep my voice down because it's nighttime. But I'm, I want to go to bed soon, like right now, kind of. But I was just watching a video about near death. Uh, someone's near death experienced. I can't go into I can't go into detail because there's way too much information. I don't remember it all, but um, basically, in a, in a nutshell, they almost got in a car crash or whatever. And sorry, I have to hear my voice down. It's nighttime. I still live with my parents, but you know. But yeah, just you know. They almost got into a car crash, and they met, uh, they met God, <laughs> and, um, you know, the more, and the more that I watch, I, like, I feel bad for these people, like, you know what I mean? But, the, it, it doesn't add up, like, the whole God is sending me positive vibes, God's love and all that, right? But then you look at the world for what it is, it just doesn't add up, you know what I mean? And I understand why people go atheist. You know what I mean? I understand it now. But I still believe in something. This near-death experience person, they said, Oth is a school and they're on a mission, but the funny thing is, they, they don't even remember what the mission is. It's like, it just, no, I feel bad for the person, but this stuff doesn't add up, you know? It's like, how many times do we have to keep going? Like, if, 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 if this is real, like, if, if all of this is real, how many times do we have to come back to Earth until everyone is, you know, like hugging each other and have and we have our arms around each other freaking singing zippity doo da what are, I'm like used to singing out singing singing the happy celebrate you know cel like cele like like singing some happy song I don't know I can't think of a happy song but you know what I mean like like yeah, I don't know, but you get you get what I'm you get what I'm getting at. If you can think of a happy song, let me know in the comments. But you know, like how many times do we have to incarnate, reincarnate, just so everyone could stop arguing and fighting and like it's unrealistic. It's like there's always going to be problems. It's unrealistic, you know. It's never going to happen. You know, I feel bad for the. N D E R near death person. I feel bad for them. You know, I'm not trying to crap on their story or anything, but they're just like, I'm like one second away from crashing my car and God sending me positive vibes. It was like, what? Does not make any sense at all. Why would a God allow? Why would a? Why would a God allow that in the first place? Of car crashes and, you know, death and all this pain does not make any sense at all you know and one thing that I want to add is you never see a near-death experience person you never like there's like I have yet to find a story where someone has a near-death experience they come back angry I have yet to find a story like that and I have yet to meet a near-death experience person where later down the road they just stop all of this positive energy, positive vibes, personality, you know? And if dad makes noise in the background, I'm just going to keep filming, I guess. Because I want this message to get out. I'm going to bed out. I'm going to bed after filming this video. But, and who knows, maybe I won't be able to upload this because I did have abdomen pain last night. I might make a video about it, but I don't know. My time might be up, so you might never get to see this. Um, maybe one day I won't wake up. I don't know what the fuck's going wrong. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but I don't want to get off topic about that. But in case you do see this, yeah, like I said, 
every near-death experience person, the life changes ever since that experience. Like, there's never a, like, I never see someone become a misotheist after their near-death experience. It's always, what is it, positive vibes or high vibrations i don't know i don't know i don't know what i don't know what word i'm trying to find but you know what i mean it's always oh love and light that uh, yeah it's always love and light i don't get it and like i said i don't want to be repeating myself no one down the road says you know what maybe i've been duped by god maybe i was lied to by god no once you have a near death experience your faith is always there the love and light is always there because I'm telling you right now, if I have a near-death experience, I'm going to probably come back angry first time. And even if I do become the love and light, I'm, promise you, I'm promising you later down the road that love and light personality will break and, and I will come back to this, you know? That love and light new age personality will be no more. Something will happen in my life, well, that will go away, you know? Maybe it's just brainwashing by the the spiritual. I don't know. I don't want to sound too. I don't want to sound too. You know. I don't want to sound. You know. Mentally. You know. Whatever. But but. Um. This video is getting too long. But yeah. This life and the spiritual life don't add up at all. There's something wrong. And like I said, atheists use these stories to debunk the afterlife, but I, 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 I do believe there is something. So I guess you would call me a dis-theist, I guess, or a misotheist. 